Adaptation in Animals Have you heard of dinosaurs? They lived on the earth long time ago. Then they died due to sudden changes in the climate of the earth. The earth's climate changed so quickly that dinosaurs were unable to adapt to the changed climate. Usually, living things adjust themselves to their surroundings or they change themselves according to the environment to survive. This is called adaptation. Adaptation to environment. We know that different animals live in different types of environment. They need food and shelter to live for which they depend on their environment. The place where an animal lives to obtain food and get shelter is known as its habitat. Animals can survive if they are well adjusted to their habitats. Animals are categorized into different groups according to their habitat. Terrestrial animals. Animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals. Their body organs help them to live on land. Cows, dogs, camels, goats, elephants, rats, lions, tigers, lizards, etc. are terrestrial animals. Features of land animals. 1. They have lungs to breathe air. 2. Many of them have sharp teeth and claws to catch their food. 3. Most of them have well-developed legs to move and run fast to protect themselves from predators. Some animals such as snakes do not have legs but they have scales that help them in crawling on the ground. 4. They have well-developed sense organs to help them to look for food and to feel changes in their surroundings. Polar animals. Some animals such as the polar bears live in very cold places. They have thick fur to protect them from harsh cold. They also have a thick layer of fat under their skin. In winter, polar animals become inactive and sleep for few months. It is called hibernation. Some animals such as frogs, lizards, rats, bears, etc. cannot bear extreme cold. So, they eat as much as possible in summer and sleep for several months in holes or caves and undergo hibernation. Desert Animals Camels live in deserts. The climate is cold at night and extremely hot in the day. Camels get very little water to drink. The camel is able to protect itself from the extreme heat of the sun during the day and harsh cold during the night because it has several adaptations. It can live without food and water for a very long time. It can live on the fat which it stores in its hump for several days. Aquatic animals. Animals that live in water are called aquatic animals. Fish, snails, crabs and turtles are aquatic animals. Their body organs are suited to live in water. Fish and crabs have gills to breathe in water. Other aquatic animals such as dolphins and whales do not have gills to breathe in water. They come up to the surface of water and breathe through their lungs. Turtles have paddle-like feet and ducks have webbed feet to swim easily in water. Fish have fins that help them to swim. Amphibians Animals that can live both on land and in water are called amphibians. Frogs, newts, salamanders, toads, etc. are amphibians. These animals breathe on land through their lungs and through their most skin in water. Their legs help them to move on land and to swim in water. Arboreal animals. Some animals such as monkeys, flying squirrels, sloth, etc. spend most of their time on tall trees. These animals are called arboreal animals. Monkeys are able to swim on trees through their strong arms and legs. They can grip branches with their tails. Other arboreal animals such as tree lizards, squirrels and opossums have strong claws to support them while climbing the trees. They also have spines 
or plates on their body to prevent them from slipping. Aerial animals. Animals such as birds, bats, butterflies, etc. fly in the air. They are called aerial animals. They have wings to fly. These aerial animals have light and hollow bones. They also have feathers that make their bodies light in weight and help them to fly. The shape of their body enables them to cut through air easily. This type of body shape is called streamlined shape. Migration Some birds live in very cold places. They are unable to survive in these places when it is extremely cold. So, they fly to warm places to reproduce and to get food easily. Many such birds come to India also. These birds go back to their subpolar homes when winter is over. They do this every year and these regular trips are known as migration. Adaptation in animals for food As we all know that animals are categorized in different groups according to their eating habits. Some animals are herbivores, some are carnivores, some are omnivores and some are parasites. Animals have different adaptations that enable them to eat different kinds of food. Herbivores such as goats, elephants, deer, cows etc. eat plants. They have very sharp front teeth to bite and cut the plant parts and strong, large, grinding teeth for chewing their food. They also have strong and long legs which help them to walk long distances to search food. Carnivores such as lions, tigers, eagles, vultures, etc. eat flesh. Most carnivores have long, sharp pointed teeth and strong claws to tear the flesh. Their strong legs help them run fast to catch their prey. Birds such as vultures and eagles have sharp claws and hooked beaks to catch the prey and tear its flesh. Omnivores such as bears, turtles, crows, dogs, cats, etc. eat plants as well as flesh of other animals. They have both sharp and flat teeth to eat a variety of food. Parasites Some animals such as mosquitoes, leeches, bugs, etc. depend on other animals for their food. Some of these animals live in the bodies of other animals. They are toothless but they have sucking tubes to suck the blood from the bodies of humans and other animals. Such animals are called parasites. Adaptation for protection. All animals need protection from their enemies so that their species can survive and reproduce. Animals are also hunted and eaten by humans and other animals as well. They have developed different ways to defend themselves from their enemies. Some animals such as deer, mice, zebras, lions, tigers, etc. are able to run very fast for their protection. The spots or stripes on the bodies of some animals help them to merge with their surroundings which makes it difficult for their enemies to see them. This is called camouflage. Chameleons, stick insects, grasshoppers, polar bears, zebras, tigers, leopards are the examples of such animals. Polar bears have brown coats in summer but white fur in winter. The stick insects and leaf insects look like a stick and leaf respectively. Such animals cleverly merge with their surroundings. They cannot be easily detected by their enemies. Some animals such as tortoises and snails have hard shells on their bodies for their protection. Some animals like snakes protect themselves by pretending themselves to be dead when they are in danger. Some animals have strong horns. When they see any opponent, they use their horns to fight. Deer, buffaloes, rhinoceros, etc. have horns. 
protect animals and save our planet. Like humans, plants and animals also play a significant role to maintain the balance in nature. Animals such as dinosaurs and mammoth are now extinct because they could not adapt to the changing environment. We must protect the animals and their habitat. We must show kindness to them and start conservation programs to protect endangered animal species. Know this. Camels can not only store a large amount of water, but they also excrete very less amount of water through sweat, urine and feces.